Fox 49 weather with Savannah Tennyson, certified by WeatherRate as the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks seven years in a row. Well, the good news is the rain has stopped over a majority of the region. You see that uh, visibility is a little bit obscured outside. Temperatures right now sitting at 45 degrees west, northwest winds at 7 miles an hour. You can see people in the square walking around at uh, 946 tonight. Here is a loop from the rain that we got yesterday afternoon into last night into today. So it started around 3 o'clock for the areas west of Springfield, continuing to just flow all the way through I-44 throughout the overnight hours. Finally, a little break in the morning time, and then we got our second batch of showers as we headed into this morning and this afternoon before finally pushing out of our region. We also had a few thunderstorms uh, that were in our far eastern counties and our far northern counties in Arkansas. Now we still have a few showers trying to pop up right now at this hour just south of Mountain Grove and just north of Gainesville. I think a lot of these are losing their umph just because the atmosphere is just so worked over from all the showers that we saw yesterday and earlier today. We still have maybe a little bit of a mist south of Lockwood at this time. Flood warnings posted until 2 a.m. in the morning. I think some of these are actually going to be extended as we get a little bit closer to that time. And this is why some of the area saw four, five, close to six inches of rainfall. I saw that Cassville this morning around 830 so that they got around 4.71 inches of rainfall in just amount of hours, which is just crazy because for March, the entire month of March, Springfield now hit five inches. So for uh, the month, we've gotten five. Cassville, just a few hours, they almost got five inches. So as we head into tonight, we will have those clouds continuing throughout the Ozarks as we head into tomorrow morning. We are going to start off cloudy, but those clouds will be giving away to mostly sunny skies in the afternoon. It is going to be a gorgeous yet a little bit of a wet day because the ground's still going to be pretty wet from uh, the rain that we saw the past few hours as we start off Sunday 7 a.m. Sunny skies increasing clouds throughout the day. Then our next chance for some showers, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder, especially north of I-44 as we head into the overnight hours of Sunday. So this is 11 p.m. So heavy showers possible up near Clinton, Warsaw over in Nevada, Stockton, and then here in Springfield as well. Those will be moving out rather quickly. So Really, if you're going to be asleep on Sunday night by midnight, you're not going to be seeing these rain showers because they're going to be up by the time you get up. As we head into tonight, temperatures 40 degrees here in Springfield, 41 over in, in Branson and 38 over in Joplin. By the time we get into tomorrow, we are going to be warming up into the mid to upper 50. Some areas getting into those 60s. The lucky few over in Joplin down in Fayetteville. 61 in Harrison and 62 over in Mountain Home, then increasing once again as we head into Sunday. So finally above average on Sunday at 61 degrees, 70 though down in Fayetteville. They are going to be the lucky ones of Sunday. Here's your seven day forecast. As we head into Monday and Tuesday, we are going to be slightly below average for this time of year, 61 degrees by Wednesday, and then we could be doing all of this all over again by next Thursday and Friday, just depending on how everything sets up. But there is already a risk for some strong to severe storms just to our west. Mm. So we're going to be watching that very closely. Wow. We'll take a break and a little bit of sunshine before that next round comes around. Savannah. Yes. All right.